Now, now we just we just bought him this uh, uh, laser tag. Now we can do the laser tag, and he's really good at it. He's like literally like uh, 007, you know. He jumps and he rolls and he does all kinds of different things. But uh, we have a lot of fun that way. Hello, everyone. This is Dr. Kim, America's Holistic Foot Doctor. Welcome back to Holistic Diabetic Foot Ulcers Cure Series. Today we're going to talk about slowing down rituals to slow myself down to get the deepest sleep at night. Let's get right into our video. This is a time uh, when we get home. Now we want to slow down ourselves. We had a lot of energy. Uh, we were working, we were out walking, we were exercising, all that to really get our energy really high and use up as much energy possible to really start slowing down so that we get the deepest sleep at nighttime. So what do I do for dinner? I make sure I get my bone broth soup. I try to do it at least three times a week, maybe more if possible. We Koreans eat a lot of bone broth soup already. We do, you know, uh, chicken soup, we do beef soup, we do all kinds of other herb soup. So it's very good to boil this for many hours because it gets all the minerals from the bones and then it got collagen, natural collagen in there to rebuild uh, yourself as well. So this is a very good thing that everybody should be doing. Also it heals your gut lining uh, to improve your digestion and gives you more energy. So it's very important to do that. Now kimchi, you can see the kimchi, I don't know, some of you may not like it. Some, some of them are really spicy, but most of them are not. And, and you can even see the white one too. You don't even have to have all the spices. And we got all kinds of different uh, types of uh, kimchi. There are over 120 different kinds of kimchi that's made of um, cabbage through um, you know, all kinds of different uh, you know, uh, vegetable as well. So kimchi also is 80-20 rule also apply in the dinner time a lot more vegetable than, than the brown stuff, the meat, right? So you have to make sure that you get a lot more vegetables, 80-20 rule. One of the things that you have to really make sure is that you don't eat too late at nighttime. Why? Because if you're digesting food at nighttime, when you're sleeping, you want to sleep. You don't want to be digesting food. That's going to take a lot away from your sleeping time. So it's very important for you to eat at least four hours before your bedtime. Your exercise also has to stop about four hours. So you start wor uh, working backwards. So let's say you're sleeping at 11 o'clock. Then you should be done by 7 o'clock with your dinner and your exercise. Because if you don't, then it's going to affect your sleep cycle. So it's very important for you to stop eating and exercising at least four hours before you go to sleep. Also, another thing that's very important for you is your emotional and your spiritual time, which will be your family time, I call it. So you come home at nighttime, or you can do a lot of this on the, uh, on the weekends, which is what I do a lot, because during the week I'm pretty busy, you know, getting myself ready for the next day and cleaning my desk. There's a lot of things that I do to prepare myself for the, for the next day. Uh, so I try to do more playtime and sports time in, uh, during the weekend, but you can still do some of this uh, also uh, during uh, the evening time as well. So you, uh, while you're slowing, slowing down, you want to have some playtime with your family. Um, you can watch some TV if you like, uh, which I don't recommend, but if you want to, you can do that. You can watch some movies if you want. But sports time also, you can do some sports to keep your activity at level up. Like I, like I said, you don't want to do it too late because that's going to affect your sleep uh, cycle. But we want to make sure that we spend some time with our family. So uh, we get so busy and I'm just as guilty of that. When I get home, I want to clean my desk and get all my stuff you know, put away. But my son's been waiting all day now to play with me. So I have to make sure that I allot 30 minutes of my time to do whatever he wants to do. Sometimes it's hard to do. I want to do certain things, but I want to, I want to wait for him and say, what do you want to do today? You want to play some basketball, you want to play some soccer, you want to play some games, and he's still into the uh, Nerf guns, so you want to do some Nerf guns. Now, now we, just, we just bought him this uh, uh, laser tag. Now we can do the laser tag, and he's really good at it. He's like literally like uh, 007, you know, he jumps and he rolls and he does all kinds of different things, but uh, we have a lot of fun that way. So this kind of slow yourself down from, you know, all that tough day, you know, you, you had a lot of activities, but now you're, you're kind of in a different activities, but you're, you're in a slowing down mode, spending time and reconnecting with your family. It's a really good time for you to spend uh, with your family. What about halfway through my evening slow down rituals? If you enjoyed this video so far or learned something new, leave a word evening rituals in the comments below. 
If you'd like me to elaborate and go deeper into a specific topic, please write, tell me more about blank, such as bone broth soup, probiotics. I'll soon make a video on that topic for you. Be sure to also give this video a thumbs up. Continuing on the evening slowdown rituals, this is what I have to do uh, daily, at least 30 minutes to an hour, to prepare for the next day. This is the very important time because if I'm not prepared for me, I can't go to sleep at night. So I have to clean my desk, which is one of the main things that I try to do. I also pack my bag to make sure I'm prepared for all the meetings tomorrow, seeing patients tomorrow, whatever I have to do tomorrow, I'm packing my bag to make sure I have all the things that I need for tomorrow. To-do list and schedule. Obviously, I have to-do lists everywhere. I'm, I'm kind of person that has to look at it, be able to be reminded. I call it the anchor. You need anchors in your life to remember things. So I have it written down. I carry a book for myself. I have two different areas, one posted, one right next to my desk so that I can see what's coming. I can see the whole month calendar. I can see my daily calendar and I see my yearly calendar. Everything's there. So I try to look at it every day to kind of memorize what's happening because if I don't do that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna easily forget. There are a lot of functions that my son has to go to. I have to help my wife on doing something. And I, when I get home, the work never stops. There's always something breaking down at the house, right? So we have to fix that. I have to have people come over and do it. You know, there's a lot of things you have to do. So you have to have a to-do list to make sure you don't forget anything. And then you schedule everything so that things are prepared ahead of time. So it's a very important time for me to do that. Email cleanup, my rule. You don't have to follow my rule, but my rule every day is my inbox is less than 10 emails. Well, a lot of people think it's crazy, but I do it. I, I put it away, I, I, I file it away. If I have to put away and read it later, I leave it there until the weekend to catch up and make sure I, I respond. I try to respond to my, all my emails within 24 to 48 hours. Most people would get my email back within 24 hours, but sometimes I have to uh, find out more about the, uh, my answers and I don't want to hurry up and give answers when I'm going to regret or it's not the really good answer. Then I give another day or so. So 24 to 40 hours, I would get all the emails cleaned up and obviously cleaning my desk is paramount for me because without that, if my desk is messy, then that means my head is messy, my life is messy, <laughs> I just cannot handle it. This is kind of what I do. I highly encourage you to have the anchors to remember and have a to-do list, have a schedule ahead of time to prepare, not only for the next day, but uh, you know, the, the, the next week and next month. Everything's kind of scheduled so that I'm not stressed over what's coming or forgetting something, doing things last minute, which I sometimes I have to do, but most of the time I want to be ahead of it so that I'm not, I'm not really uh, you know, struggling or stressed out about things coming up. So this is a very important thing that I do to really slow down myself, but also preparing for the next day so that I'm not as stressed on a daily basis. Evening supplements, we can't forget my supplements. I, so far, we got the waking up supplements. I got the morning supplements. I got the daytime supplements. Now we got the evening supplements. Magnesium is a relaxation minerals. I highly recommend for people, a lot of people constipated, I don't have that problem because of the magnesium. Now, magnesium is a difficult because you don't want to take too much because it's going to give you diarrhea. So the amount you need, the way you determine that is you take, you start with about 500 milligrams and I take 1500 milligrams and that's my upper level. Why? Because after that, I have to go to the restroom. So you take it to the amount, most people maybe 1000, 1500. When you take that, you have to go to the restroom, right? or if you have a diarrhea, that means that's too much. So you lower that a little bit, find that level, and take it every day. Magnesium does over 600 different things in your, in your body. It does a lot of things, but one of the main things is to relax you, so get you go to the uh, relaxation mode and get you uh, much better sleep at nighttime, and makes you go regularly, right? So it's very important as well. Now, Stressless, this is one of the products that I have in my office. It's called Phosphatidyl Serene. It reduces the cortisol level, increases your brain function, and this is really good to kind of de-stress yourself because you're, you're stressed out, your brain's like all on fire, right? You're not thinking too much, whatever. It slows down your brain, makes you think clearly, and also uh, gives you a lot less stress by, uh, by decreasing your cortisol level. So stress less is, that supplement is a very good supplement to take. Deep sleep, 
Uh, it's another supplement that, I, that we have in, in my office, my own supplement. Uh, what it does is that basically it gives you melatonin, it gives you GABA, uh, L-theanine. These are all the supplements that really slow you down to get your deepest sleep possible. These are the herbs that are in it. Probiotics. It's the best time to have probiotics, in my opinion, is on an empty stomach. Why? Because it gets in there and it, it, it started working uh, when, when you're not moving and doing a lot of stuff. It really prepares you for the next day. So I take probiotics in the morning too, but I take it at nighttime before I go to sleep. And I take my Restore, remember the uh, gut sealing supplements that I take first thing in the morning. I also take some before I go to sleep as well. This is a great opportunity where you're sleeping. You're not doing a whole lot other than lying down. And then you, hopefully your gut is empty because you haven't been eating a lot, right? So it's a great time to supplement, uh, get the good probiotics and go, good restore in there to seal your gut, help your gut so that getting ready for the next day. So this is the evening supplements that I take. Evening hydration, also very important. We, we did a lot of activities during the day. You hydrate yourself, but you want to hydrate uh, not right before, but at least two hours before your bedtime. You don't want to drink anything during that time because if you drink too late, then you have to go to the restroom and that interrupts your sleep cycle and that's not good for you, right? So I, I do some more juicing, I drink more water, and then all of that. Also, I put it in there, LED. Your computer, your phone. This is challenging for me as well because you stay up looking at stuff and cleaning your email, but you try to slow down yourself by stopping those two hours before your bedtime too. Now, if you have to look at the computer and phone, you need to dim it down or get a screen where you block up the blue ray. Now, blue ray is like blue light during the day when the sun is really high, that blue ray comes in and it, it, it goes right through your eyes and it opens up your um, uh, brain where it, it keeps you awake. Think your brain thinks it's during the day, right? So you really want to get the blocker. You can you can actually download uh, some app to to make sure that you're not getting a lot of Blu-ray, and that's important. Or you get a screen to put on the computer. So you're trying to slow everything down, uh, even the Blu-ray, so that it's really help you uh, um, get into a deeper sleep as well. Now, spiritual exercise, another very important thing that I do first thing in the morning, as well as, I call it the book ends of the day. You're first thing in the morning, and right before you go to sleep, you want to reconnect and do a spiritual exercise. Forgiveness exercise is very important, as you know. Uh, we have a lot of people we need to forgive. We need to forgive ourselves as well. I always pick one person that I need to forgive and pray for that person. That's forgiveness exercise. Next one is gratitude exercise. I pick one thing. I have an app called Grateful. And then at 10.30, it ping goes, it's time to be grateful. What are you grateful for? So I usually say what I'm grateful for, at least one thing or a person. So I do this exercise daily to really kind of calm myself down, kind of go back to our base and saying, what's this all about? What's life all about? I know all the craziness going on here, but at the end of the day, you really have to have a good relationship with people around. And it's not easy at times because there are people doing, saying a lot of things that they shouldn't say or do, but you get hurt by it, but you need to get rid of that. Why? Because if not, you'd be thinking about it and won't be able to get good sleep, right? So you do this exercise routinely so that you forgive people and you're grateful about uh, things so that you really reconnect with your spiritual side to make sure all this emotional turmoil will be calmed down. If you'd like me to receive my daily One Minute Wellness message, please sign up at 1mwellness.com. Remember, it only takes one minute to read. Until next time, be educated, get empowered, encourage others today.